Okay, uh, let's insert uh, let's add these dense plugs to these uh, number one cable for extending my uh, Lincoln uh, Lincoln Welder's uh, cable for uh, arc welding. The thing is, the arc welder, as an arc welder, you move almost the cables they supply with the uh, the uh, unit. You almost have to act as a backpack. So well, let's uh, let's uh, insert these cables. Let's come up with a brass insert and. Uh, First thing you do is measure the depth of the cable, the hole. And the plastic verniers. Transfer it over. Uh, here we go. And uh, we'll cut cut it a bit uh, short. This is a cable cutter. There we go. Kind of raining outside. Oh, snowing actually. Sleep. Very thing on the roof. I uh, dip it in. Uh, this is. Uh, This is a dielectric grease corros protect corrosion for aluminum, but uh, works. Add the brass insert. Get as many of the. There we go. Maybe back here. Any of the cables I can get. I don't want to get all fray. I guess that'll be okay. I want something to crush it. Make sure you have it on. Make sure the thing is open. Maybe try to fit as many wires as we can. Yeah. Now's the time to cut it. The uh, male and female end have uh, different size Allen's using dielectric grease corrosion resistant you know it might burn off while you're welding under height there we go yeah. cut off any strays And it's 
closer to here. Now, uh, the reason why I'm using red cable, red welding cable, and I got black cable set up, is that polarity check. Usually, uh, positive is red. So if I hooked up to my uh, Power MiG 210, on hooked up my uh, negative here. So uh, I would hook it up and uh, should go deeper than that. Unless I got the wrong end on it. But, uh, yeah. It should go flush actually. Maybe. Unless this is the wrong end again, I gotta get the wrong end right in. Yeah, this is right, but it should sit flush. Flush on it. Oh, uh, well. So I gotta figure something out. Uh, see how it goes. That's when you don't know how to do things. Uh, Struggling for the first time. People say, oh, watch YouTube, yeah. It's okay to watch YouTube. And you do kind of uh, dismiss the idea of learning something. Do it this way. It actually stops. Well, if I got the wrong end. Is there a square underneath? Oh, well, I guess push it in all the way. Push it in deeper. Uh, when you got 25 feet of cable, you better do it right the first time. So, gotta wind it. I gotta do this off camera. Push it all the way through so it's insulated. Sorry, you can't see this, but. pushed against something hard in order to get it flush you're not electrocuting yourself in the end 
Maybe a little harder. I'm not going to do it. And by pushing it against the vise, managed to uh, do it. So I'll do the other end. Won't make the same mistake. Well, can't make the same mistake twice if it's a male. This is a female. But uh, I'll come back to you after we're all done and discuss why I'm doing this. Okay, let's discuss uh, the reason why I got bought myself black, number one black, and, and number uh, one copper gauge red. Uh, the, same, uh, the reason why is polarity. Red, usually in the battery, is positive, black is negative. And when you're doing stick electrodes, uh, some sticks are negative and some sticks run on positive electrode. Usually in big machines, professional machines, the leads are always are plugged in. Some are actually swaged in with uh, battery lugs. And there's a big switch on the machine here that you can switch electrode to electrode to electro positive, electro negative. Uh, smaller the machine, you gotta change the, the leads on the uh, on the uh, machine. So by any, and the reason why I got 25 feet extension on this is that uh, I don't want to carry this machine as a backpack you know, when you're doing stick welding because the Lincoln Electric cheaped out on their length of leads as well as I think you know if we look at it pull it up when you are uh, it's also buggered to open up this is what we got here can we read it this is number four gauge wire so as you can see Lincoln Electric provides it with number four wire this is number one obviously you got a bigger lead well, especially when you're doing extensions you want the big thick cables on your leads and so the longer the distance is the less resistance you have so I could have probably gone to uh, a one knot but uh, I chose uh, number one I think that for 25 feet that's uh, long enough and uh, you know these are standard Dense plugs come in mini and standard, and the only thing changes is the uh, the gauge wire that it attached to. These dense plugs, as you can see, are rated are uh, DXSK 3550s, which are rated to the maximum of uh, the one number one cable. So that's what I bought, and. Uh, so the, I could have gotten bigger to one aught, but that would be kind of heavy for this type of machine. And I thought one gauge would be big enough considering the leads that they give you with these leads are basically uh, number four wire. So I guess that when Lincoln Electric, it's basically a price point issue. Even the mid guns, uh, they may be whatever expensive to buy but uh, these they sell so much of these machines you know it's they come the price comes down i would like to eventually uh pick up uh, a longer mig gun maybe a 20 footer if i can find a proper plug on it and connections and as long as uh, i'm using a lubricant on my wire as it comes feeds out of the roll so that should help it pass through the mig gun like I said, in big machines, yeah, these uh, polarity change on in stick welding is done in the machine, on the machine. It changes the stick from positive polarity to, to negative polarity. On smaller machines, you change the plugs. 
And as even with, but with this, this red and black difference, if red stays on positive all the time, you know that your, 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 your extension coming out is always on positive and your black is negative compared to buying normal wel welding cables, which is black always, and then you, then you are kind of confused with regarding the extension. So that's another advantage I thought, you know, just getting, not getting standard welding cable black, which I could probably could, but having it red, you can tell which, which polarity to set on when you do your stick welding. Now, some people say that 25 feet is too long, well, if this is not long enough, like I said, you need to, you don't want to use this machine as a backpack. I mean, I mean actually when you're doing welding, you know, stick welding is usually done heavy duty machine, like uh, re welding or fabricating repairs. Mostly done on repairs, like you got equipment outside the shed, you outside the shed door and then you want to, don't want to bring this in the rain. So you got 25 feet of leads here plus whatever the factory lead, just the number four, and probably number four on the, the ground, but uh, yeah. You know, having an extension leads up for your stick welding is, uh, if you're doing repairs on the other side of a vehicle, you got 25 feet. Like I said, some people must think it's overkill. I don't think so. You never have long enough welding wire to do your job anyways. So, uh, you know, this is a one-time purchase, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not a welder, but much run through very welding cable all the time, you know, that to get roughed up and what cut is short and shorter, but, you know, it's a bigger gauge compared to number four, what came out of the, the, uh, well, what that came with the machine, so it's definitely good for, uh, you know, We'll use that extension cables and plus put the, the red on on positive and you know what your which polarity if you change rods doing something else you know doing change rods that need positive polarity you know that it, that your leads is a you know which lead is the positive polarity you're not guessing when you're out there fabricating or changing rods or something and just it's a visual aid you know some people just would buy black wire on both sides but probably the price is just the same to have uh, the black wire as it is to have the uh, you know the, uh, the the red and the black it's just battery cable aka welding cable it's not uh, the reproduction stuff but uh, yeah, you can buy these dim pl dense plugs on Amazon, on eBay. As long as you know, I went on I went on the website for this to find out this this particular uh, series, uh, the SK3550, uh, is designed up to uh, n number one cable, and uh, so that'll be it. So, uh, and so that will be it uh, for now and uh, hopefully like I said 25 feet some people may find that excessive but uh, you always wish you had longer cable with you so and plus it's a bigger cable than the machine will probably ever take the machine came with you know number four cable uh, that's chintzy right all right nice to see it bye